middle of City Soleil. Now, this is one of Haiti's poorest and most dangerous slums. In fact, about a year and a half ago, I never would have been able to get out of our van to walk around here. However, the UN has come out here and they've cleaned things up a little bit, so it's a little safer during the day. But one thing that's very evident out here is the absolute poverty. It's so hard to see. Hard to I'm gonna get, woo, so much press. And I can thread. We're here in a parking lot in one of these pain clinics, and we're in West Palm Beach, Florida, but you kind of feel like you're in Appalachia because look at these license plates. We got Virginia right there, over here, Tennessee. Next to that, we have Kentucky. Almost every car in this lot is not from the state of Florida. Yeah, here. Yeah, here. Man, we just want to know why all of these people have to drive thousands of miles to see your doctors. What are your doctors doing for all these people that they have to drive thousands of miles to see them? As a staff sergeant at the time, so I didn't really, all I knew was the military, so I figured if the Army was still going to let me serve, then I was going to do what I could to serve. So I uh, was able to go back to Afghanistan and take my soldiers down range. Earlier this year, Chris needed a new prosthetic, which is why he's back at Walter Reed, recovering again. Sleeps and bounds from where uh, where it was, you know, 10 years ago when I got hurt. Uh, I mean, just like the, the foot I'm wearing now is probably the most lifelike foot I've worn. We've been, you know, walking around these streets. We found some kids that are just half clothed or completely naked like this little boy here. And you can see right now he's not wearing any shoes. He doesn't own any. And he's forced to walk around on this ground that is so hot. If I even put my hand down here, it hurts. I instantly have to take my hand off this ground. It feels just like a hot stove. To be ready for something like this every day, firefighters have to go through so much training and be ready health-wise. In the events of September 11th, they really shed light on what firefighters do for the community every day. I'm going to sell myself for sex on Backpage.com, just like a 12-year-old girl we found was sold on the site. We posted an ad under Escorts on Backpage's Tennessee site, almost identical to an ad used to sell a 12-year-old girl we found. It looks like you have a lot of... Um, track marks. Yeah. They are track marks. So what about when people say that these pills are only being swallowed and they're not being abused? What would you say to that? I say that's bullshit. I've done 19 in one day, one time. I've done stronger. I've done Oxy 80s, Dilaudid. Okay, that's a Roxy 30, Roxycodone? A Roxycodone, 30 milligrams. I fill my needle up with water. I pour water on it. In the vein, and you push down. Don't waste anything. Where does everyone get these Roxies from? People who either go to pain management doctors and sell their scripts, or people who buy it from people who go to pain management doctors. It's the fire department that comes to our rescue. Like when we were in the middle of our shoot that day and they had to respond to this call. I have a new appreciation for that person running right now in that uniform. We come to work for 24 hours a day. We eat together. We sleep in the same bunk room. We go on calls together. They also celebrate their ups and downs together. Very tight knit community. I, 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 I think that's what draws people to the fire service. That in a shared long-term goal. We're gonna put ourselves in harm's way to protect like, life, safety, the environment, um, to make sure that you know people live a better life in the community. That's what public service is about. Almost no families in Haiti have running water. In fact, it's just something that's a luxury for rich families. So the families that do own child slaves force them to come out to these watering areas and fill up buckets with water. And some of these buckets weigh up to 64 pounds when they're filled with water. And a lot of these child slaves are just little girls like this one. And look at this, she doesn't even have shoes on. She's forced to fill up all these buckets and carry them back and forth to her owner's home, sometimes five to six times a day. 